has certain essential properties that give the game its flavour. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. When you start getting over it, you're standing next to a dead tree, which blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. You prod and poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and strength, trying to find a way up. When starting a new scratch project, that initial blank slate is both refreshing and at times a little scary. Wouldn't it be great if we could travel forward in time and review our finished projects to see how well they turned out? I certainly wish we could. The real draw of coding, what gives it that special zing, is the challenge of accomplishing something you've never done before. What? At this point, you don't want to fall into the trap of rushing into creating loads of content, designing all the what? levels, the player costumes, all the easier stuff that can be perfected later. No, before all that, you need to prod and poke that tree. That is, understanding the coding difficulties you're expecting to face and try out any ideas to solve them. You may not be able to time travel, but at least this way you can get a good idea of how well your project is likely to go and potentially save yourself a lot of time. This project began life a couple of months ago as three simple scripts, the player, hammer and level. I spent no time on the art, just using Scratchcat and a few rectangles drawn in the sprite editor. The scripts for the player quickly mocked up in a similar fashion to those I teach on my YouTube channel. With the hammer I had to improvise because I'd never done anything quite like that before. And boy did I prod and poke at those 